So I bet I only have to play a few notes of this particular old hymn and many of you out there will recognize it. See if that's true. time. Written by a man whose name was George Bernard. And he was born actually in 1873. And he lived to 1958. So he lived a good long life. He was an American hymn writer and uh, a preacher as well. He is, I think, probably best known, for sure best known for this hymn, The Old Rugged Cross. He was born in a coal mining and iron production town, the Youngs of Youngstown, Ohio. And when he was a child, his parents and his family, they had to move to Iowa. And sometime later, they moved again to another place in Iowa. He aspired all along, really, to become a Christian evangelist. And he was compelled, though, to support his mothers and sisters after his father died very suddenly. Um, and so he did a little bit of other work, but always wanting to be a preacher, an evangelist, and he wrote hymns. So after he got married, he actually became very active in the Salvation Army uh, and preached throughout the United States and also throughout Canada. Uh, he was ordained as a minister in the MEC Church, so the Methodist Episcopal Church. He spent much of his life, did you all know this? He spent much of his life living right here in Michigan. How many of you knew that? I wish I could see you so you could raise your hands and let me know. Um, and he was very well regarded. Um, and he retired... Uh, he spent some time living in Wisconsin as well, but he retired from his work in Reed City, Michigan. You all know where that is, you know? So so Reed City uh, is, you know, along about it's north of, of Grand Rapids, but over on the west side of the state. Um, Everett, Reed City, kind of are all in that same space. Um, and I don't know if any of you have ever been, but there is a museum in Reed City um, for him, in honor of him, but mostly it is known as the Old Rugged Cross Museum. It's in honor of his work, but in honor, really, of this particular hymn. And I did happen to read um, that the city of Reed City has been trying to keep that museum going, and they actually are struggling financially, trying to keep it um, keep because it's it's at I believe it's at the house where he lived when he retired um, and uh, the Chamber of Commerce and the city of Reed City they're struggling a little bit to try and keep that museum going which which is a little sad to me um, but uh, gosh right such an incredible hymn this and the long standing time that it has been a part of uh, the Christian tradition as well. But from the beginning, right, you might be able to know these words and sing along with me, maybe. On a hill far away stood an old rugged cross the emblem of suffering and shame and my love that old cross Thank you. 
and we get closer to that holy week. There are so many symbols of things that happen in that week. You know, I think about the palm branch and I think about the coins that represent betrayal. And I think about, I think about the water and the towel. And I think about the supper, the bread and the wine. I think about the symbolism of knowing that, that, that disciples would deny even knowing even knowing Jesus by the time the cock crowed, right? So there's this rooster image that comes to my mind when I think about the symbols of the week. We often see symbols with the thorn, the crown made of thorns, right? We see this image of the cross so very often. And so this song helps us have that image about that hill far away and all that happened on what we call Good Friday. So I have to say that there are times when it is hard for me to cling to the old rugged cross because there's more to the story beyond the cross. And we can't have an Easter without a Good Friday. I know that to be true as well. But it is important for us to remember the crucifixion so that we can fully appreciate the gift of Easter. So I hope that this particular recall of this beautiful old hymn, The Old Rugged Cross, has helped you on your journey today, has helped you grow in faith, and that this music moment has lifted you up. It is almost that week of remembering the end of Jesus' life. And like I said, the end was not really the end. God is always up to surprises, right? So take good care. Thanks for joining me in this music moment.